Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. I'm now looking at the 5 minute chart of the British pound American dollar forex pair where I notice an interesting and well known chart, chart pattern uh, called uh, inverted pennant. The pattern starts with a bearish run, sharp bearish run, which switch to a consolidation over here. And the consolidation has a triangular pattern with bullish inclination, like in our case, right over here. And this is uh, the pennant itself. The bearish run pre or the pennant is called a pennant pull. And so, if the lower level of the pennant gets broken in bearish direction, this triggers the potential of the pattern, meaning that we will have sufficient reason to pursue a bearish price move equal to the size of the pennant in its widest part, the vertical size of the pennant in its widest part. However, this is only the first target on the chart. There is a second extended target as well that equals to the size of the pennant pole applied starting from the moment of the breakout as well. So this is the size of the pennant pole and if we assume that the breakout will appear somewhere over here. This is the second target on the chart. The first target is over here, located at a distance equal to the vertical size of the pennant in its widest part. And the second target equals to the vertical size of the pennant pole applied, again starting from the moment of the breakout. The price is currently meeting the lower level of the pennant. As a support and we're now seeing that uh, there is definitely hesitation in this area but uh, we wait patiently to see what's gonna happen on the chart and if the price breaks the lower level of the pennant I will immediately short the British pound American dollar forex pair for half lot, placing a stop loss order above the highest point of the pennant, somewhere over here. Uh, as I said many times, I like using rounded numbers, so I believe that the stop loss order will be well located slightly above the 1.24 level, which is a psychological resistance on the chart. This is where my stop loss order will go. Let's mark this level with red. Here it is. And I will also place a take profit order at the second target. Uh, somewhere near 1.2343. Let me, sh well, let me tell you why I'm going to use the second target for my take profit order. So if the price moves as I plan, I don't want the trade to be closed immediately after the price meets uh, the level located uh, at our first target. For this reason, I will observe the trade and if I see that the price demonstrates hesitation at my first target at 1.2372, I will close the trade. However, if the price action is simply shooting down, uh, I will simply leave the trade untouched and I will stay until the price meets the second target located at a distance 
equal to the vertical size of the pendant pole. If I place my take profit order at the first target, the trade will be instantly closed if the price shoots down and I will be left only with the first target as my pure profit. But since I am willing to shoot for the second target and not lose my potentials to catch the second target as well, I will place the take profit order over there, somewhere at 1.2343, and I will manually control my trade in case the price experiences strong support at one the 1.2372 support level. And now what I'm going to do is to pause the video and to come back to see if the price has created a breakout through the lower level of the pennant, which will be a trigger signal for our trade. Okay guys, we're back 5 minutes later to see the candle that closed below the lower level of our pennant, which is the reason I will short the British pound American dollar forex pair for a half lot. Uh, like this, and I will place a stop loss order as I said uh, at uh, 1.24 in the 1.24 area. I'm gonna place it at 1.2402. Uh, somewhere over here, 24.2. Here it is, in the level that marks it. Okay. At the same time, I'm gonna put my take profit order at the second target at 1.2343 over here and now I suggest that we also mark the the entry point on the chart I entered at 1.2385 approximately. I'm gonna mark this level with white over here. So we have the entry point, we have the stop loss order, and we have the take profit at 1.2342. I assume now that the price action will decrease, will take over the first target. If it hesitates at the first target, I will come back with the video to show you how I close the trade. If not, I will simply leave the trade open until the second target is reached, uh, the place where my take profit order is located at 1.2342. This is why I now suggest that we pause the video and come back later to see how this trade is developing. Okay guys, we're back about 5 hours later to see that the price action has created a consistent decrease after we short the British pound American dollar and has reached our take profit order at 1.2343. Uh, uh, right over here. Hitting our take profit order which uh, closed a fully successful trade for us. Uh, the profit we generated equals to 42 pips, which approximately takes a profit of 0.34% of the amount invested in the trade. At the same time, the stop loss order at 1.24 uh, remains fully untouched. As you see, uh, the stop loss order level over here marked with red contains the price action in a very good way. Actually, the price action did not manage to to break uh, the highest point of the orange pennant, uh, which makes the trade fully successful. Notice that the trend is relatively consistent, the downtrend. We even have a double top pattern over here. 
and now I'm going to stretch the area which I used to determine my target in this trade. As you see, the target in the trade is relatively uh, it's relatively accurate since uh, it uh, fully contained most of the price action. Let me mark the double top pattern for you, which was additional confirmation that the price action is most likely decreasing. I'm going to put it with pink or purple. The double top pattern. Over here we already was, were short uh, in the time of the creation of the pattern. Furthermore, it is important to mention that uh, after the price broke the pennant, right over here here it is the pennant breakout it returned to the already broken lower level of the pennant for a resistance test which is a pure example of how a support level turns into a resistance to send the price downward with a with a higher strength see that the price completed the first target over here which equals the size of the widest part of the pennant and uh, since the price uh, broke that level instantly and did not interrupt its, its bearish trend line which I'm currently marking with with red for example I decided to hold the trade further and the next trend bounce from the red bearish trend line which I'm gonna show you now Just give me a second. Here is the next trend bounce over here. Created the strong bearish impulse that sent the price action to my take profit order. Closing my trade on a 0.34% profit. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to seeing you in the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.